Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, friends and strangers um, and how people with avoidant personality disorder relate to them. Um, and I'm expecting a lot of blowback because um, things I say people don't agree with. Um, if it doesn't match their exact experience, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, but basically there's, in the world of an avoidant person, there's family, which has its own, I mean, everybody knows what family is, and it has usually a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, baggage. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let's put it as, like, obvious and subtle and with as less force as I can possibly um, put out there um, because, you know, family in the vast majority of people with annoying personality disorder, this is source of the trigger. Uh, so there's that. There's the people that you will never meet, you know, 7 billion people on the earth, therefore there's a whole lot of them that you're never going to have any contact with whatsoever. There's acquaintances, um, which you, you know, this is people who work in certain situations and you have to, you know, like cashiers in the store and stuff like that. I mean, it's, maybe it's your neighbors where you live. I mean, it's basically, it's people you have to be polite with, but you have absolutely no interaction with. Um, and then there are friends and strangers and the friends and strangers are the ones that, are the ones that you navigate, the, you have the hardest time navigating. Um, I suppose you could put in a separate category also for like love interests or whatever, but um, I think they're a subcategory of friends. I hope you're friends with the person that you're having a relationship with. It's possible you're not arranged marriage or something like that. So maybe that's a separate category, but anyway, I am... Rambling as usual. Okay. So the thing is, is that the strangers and the friends are the ones that cause the most grief, frankly, for somebody with avoidant personality disorder. Um, because I think that one of the reasons is because it's so amorphous. Um, a lot of people I've heard over and over and over again from people with avoidant personality disorder are shocked that other people consider them to be friends because they have a very sort of narrow and limited definition of what a friend is and so they don't even realize it but I think that one of the reasons they do this is because they can be more comfortable with them if they don't consider them a friend and the reason for this is Again, I mean, the, unfortunately, but seriously, the driving force for people with avoiding personality disorder is the judgment that they're going to receive by other people. Um, that's it. Um, you know, there's the fear, there's blah, blah, blah. But in a nutshell, that's what it boils down to is you can't tolerate being judged. And that's why you do everything you do, is to avoid and mitigate it. There it is in a nutshell. And a lot of people are going to be like, mm. but seriously, if you boil it down, really go to the root. There it is. So a friend, okay, so here's a problem with friends. They're going to remember you. They're going to pay attention to you. And that means they're going to judge you. Um, if you do something different from what they expect, they're going to be like, hey, what? It's going on here. Um, they're going to judge you positively because they've chosen you as a friend. This is an issue. This makes it very difficult for people with avoidant personality disorder to accept friendships. 
which, I mean, if you saw what it said yesterday, you're probably like, hmm, hello, um, yeah, so I got a big double whammy there going on, I've got the avoidance telling me no, and then I've got the altruistics part of me that says no too, therefore we got like across the board no's, that means no, you know, that means stop fighting. But anyway, that was yesterday, today. This is this is the thing. This is a problem with friends. The friends are um, that they're going to judge you. Now, people might say, well, okay, the biggest problem with friend is they want your time. They, they don't like that you have to disappear and take, you know what? There's how many hours in a day in a week? Nobody expects 24 hours a day. And almost nobody else in your life is going to have such a limited number of people that, you know, okay, you're not available. All right, on to the next. And I don't mean that like a replacement thing. I mean that literally like, okay, I'm bored. I want to talk to this person. Well, they're not available. Okay, well, there's somebody else I can talk to. Really? So that's not it, you know. Yeah, you know, you, you you could have somebody that works 80 hours a week. They also have limited time available. That's not the issue. The issue is being judged and people don't like it and that's why they're so like, well, I can't have friends. I can't be around. I can't, I can't put the time in. No. Okay. Uh, so for a lot of people, uh, interacting with strangers is a lot easier. And so, um, it sounds counterintuitive. It sounds like, what? But there are avoiding people out there who would rather have a cycle of strangers who they have limited short-term interaction with, um, one after the other. And they don't consider them friends. And... Again, this is something that it's outside of an avoidant type of perspective. They would be like, yeah, this is my new friend. Maybe even this is my new best friend. <sighs> you know, this is this is how people without avoidant personality disorder would say it. Uh, I'm making new friends all the time. Um, the person with avoidant personality disorder is like, okay, well, see, they're a stranger. Now, the reason why the stranger is okay, even though, like, for me, it's extremely stressful to talk to new people in any capacity whatsoever. Um, again, because I've got, like, that judgment friend thing right in the forefront. But other people are like, okay, well, it's somebody that I'm not, you know, it's, 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 it's seriously, even though they might be talking about something that's very personal. It's not even counting as an acquaintance. It's not counting as a friend. It's counting as a stranger. They just talk to you a little bit and somehow it's like makes it okay. And the reason is because they don't think they're going to be judged. And the reason if, if it's very, very short and quick, very short term, then they f think that they can like extricate themselves from it without having any lasting impact whatsoever and then they won't be judged and then you know then you have true strangers which is like for example um i've said before you know again it's another sort of like major difference in groups of people with avoidance there's the ones that are like serious serious homebodies and they can only let down their hair if there's very few people around and it's people that they know even if they don't like them but you know their family cool. Um, for me, again, I have that judgment thing going on. Um, it could be my family. <laughs> my family likes good stories. Good, not necessarily meaning positive. They like juicy stories and they like to find new stories and they are just digging all the time so they can compare. Oh my goodness, this one is that one. Ooh. That's their socialization. 
Ugh. I mean, I don't know, maybe that's the way everybody is, but I'm like, I mean, it's basically gossip hounds, that's my family, so I'm like, ooh, being around my family is a nightmare. That's how they care for each other, is by witnessing each other's worst, me like, moments of their life. <sighs> um, but true, true strangers for me. These are people I don't know, I will never interact with. Again, they're... Out, those are the people that I can basically be free with. The more, the better. Now, this is another thing. It's crowds for people are like, I can't be around crowds. They make me nervous. Too many people, blah, 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 blah. Because they're trying to monitor every single one of them. They're trying to monitor everybody. And um, you can't. You get to a point where you can't. That's why it makes it okay for me. Because it's like, it gets to a level where I can't keep track of what everybody else is doing and thinking, and therefore, okay, I don't have to anymore. There's always going to be somebody who's making a bigger fool of themselves in a crowd. Always. 100%. So, you really can hide in a crowd, in my opinion, a lot easier than you can um, in a smaller group. So, uh, those are, those are the things, you know, it's, it's a matter of how much you're being judged is, you know, again, your family, you're going to be judged by your family. There's no way to avoid it. You're stuck with them for life. You know, they're going to have, they're either going to remember or they're not going to think you're worthy of remembering. And that's so vile to say. That's not really, uh, I hate that I just said that. Because that's, that's the impression that avoidant people have. That I'm not worthy of being remembered. This is why my mother, whenever I see my family, she makes a point of introducing me to all my relatives that I've known for 40 odd years. Because she wants me to know that nobody in my family thinks I'm worthy of remembering. That's why she does it. Um, and I think that's just god awful. You know, and then there are situations where you might, I mean, it's, again, that's a lot of things. You know, you, people who have, who have, internal strength can cut themselves off from their families, from their abusive families, or maybe they've been pushed out, whatever. It's possible. It's possible to do it. And I'm like, oh yeah, awesome. You are strong um, to be able to do that. Cause I, I can't, I, I can't as, as much abuse as I take from my family, I can't stand the judgment when they realize I'm not there. Especially because it gets reported back to me. Oh, this one felt so bad that you weren't there. Why weren't you there? Oh my God, you disappointed them. Because of course they wanted to have the gossip. Um, so I, I can't, I can't. Well, half my family I've basically broken away from. But other half, I can't. So I, I think it's really strong for you to be able to break away from the family that is um, pulling you down. Um, and I think it's great if you can have friends and I think it's, it's a wonderful thing for avoiding people to have even one really excellent friend, which by the way, most people in real life, they'll say, oh yeah, I have all these friends in real life. They have like one person that's a confidant. That's it. That's reality. And you know, that's all people need is one person, you know, or you can get pets, um, that can also help mitigate it. But, uh, that's it. That's what it comes down to. That's why some people want to have friends and some people want to be around strangers is, is how they perceive they're being judged and how well they can tolerate it and what, what sort of matters to them, whether it's somebody that remembers a long time or, uh, people that who cares, even if they do judge you, they're going to forget about you in two seconds. And that's what I would prefer somebody to forget about me. Maybe I'll make these videos. There's something wrong with me. I know.